mere process. seconds before we streamed, Hing leaned over to Demi <laughs> and said, I don't have a bedtime. What time is the stream finishing? I don't have a bedtime. Uh, we are going to be playing the D&D starter set. This is the new starter set, Stormwreck Isle. It just has just come out. You can get it now. Yeah, Hing, you want to hold it up? and I'll hold it up right now. Look at that. That is the new Dungeons & Dragons starter set. And uh, this is for adventures, oh, hey, for Derek. adventures of level You're one. You're telling me this set includes a 48-page adventure booklet with everything you need to get started and also a 32-page rule book? What? Yeah, it, that's it, incredible it's, value. It's, are, we, are we like we're, that's good. We're sponsoring this? This is okay. good. You don't work for the ABC anymore, clearly. Yeah. <laughs> wow. What? You can tell me you get six game dice. You get six game six dice. Game you dice? get six game dice. Six game dice. They're all the same color. You get six blue game dice. Six five game dice. Character sheets and a forty-eight page adventure. And there's plenty of pictures in this bad boy as well. <laughs> pictures. <Yeah. laughs> now five. Are you excited about pictures because you can't read? Yeah. <laughs> five character sheets. You you have four of them in front of you, and that's critical because. And I know I talk a long game about consequence, but I really just want us to play some D and D. It's been eight years. It's been a bit ridiculous. So I am going to enforce combat rules and if you die there's another character and he'll enter the game we have the fifth character sheet but it will be a humiliating entry for you okay what if we all die we have to share a character well the first person <laughs> inside oh it's, it's like, like John Malkovich it's like baby <laughs> girls <laughs> whichever soul has been there the longest no, it's, gets, to, I think, gets to go into the new body yeah, like yeah uh, when you said it's like being John Malkovich I just thought that more and more of the level one high elf wizard was just going to appear until it was a party of essentially the same people <laughs> That might be nice. Mm -hmm. I mean, it could be. It's mm -hmm. it would be wildly inefficient, and we you would all have to share one character sheet. But who knows? We'll cool. see what happens. If you had a clone of yourself, would you have sex with them? Oh yeah, cool. definitely. I I'd be always I, I'm, same. It's just up and down. If I had a clone of you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Hand up. Who's who would fuck Dave's clone? <laughs> we all would. Mm. Um, uh, Dave, I'm just glad that he's getting out there. <laughs> <laughs> what can you tell us about this uh, Dragons of Stormwreck Isle starter set? Well, uh, where's it set? He <laughs> said. English for the first time. <laughs> <laughs> it's, set, it's set very in the Sword Coast. It's set on Stormwreck Isle, which is just off the coast of. Does it happen uh, the Feyre. same time as Dragon Friends, or is it in a different world entirely? How does this relate to Dragon Friends? These Prime? characters are canonical. No, I don't think these characters know the Dragon Friends. It could be canonical because the Dragon Friends have never been to Stormwreck Isle. So in a world, this is happening in the same place yeah. broadly, but you don't know the Dragon Friends. None of them know you. Do we want to meet the characters? We're going to go around quickly and introduce our characters. Dave, I just rolled three 13s in a row. Yeah? Are you you curious? Lucky 13. I think I won. What did you win? I, I don't, what do you want to give me? All the <laughs> <laughs> like 13 is an unlucky number, isn't it? I was born on the 13th. Oh, I'm sorry. That does make yeah. a lot of sense. Oh, man. <laughs> <laughs> All right, why, don't we, kind of. why don't you start, Demi? Why don't you oh, tell us what um, I'm, I'm, My name is Mr. Pizza. Um, and I'm playing a Lightfoot Halfling. Oh my god, you chose Chaotic Good for me. I didn't choose. These are all the status of characters. Oh really? Mm -hmm. Oh okay, yeah. So my name's Mr. Pizza. And yeah. Which I now, is that a is that a title or is it a That's my first name. name? It's my name. Your first name is Mr. And my your last name, name is Pizza. Is Mr. Pizza. Wait, so your first name is Mr. or M. Do you know that, that Mr. is Mr. Bean's first name? And I'm pretty sure that's canon. Mr. Bean's first name is Mr. Yes, because I saw an episode where it was Christmas and he opens a card and it just has Mr. written on the front. I'm pretty sure his name's Mr. <laughs> but also he said that to himself. That is true. Mm. Yeah. So, like, who He's else would formal. know? He's very formal to himself, though. Boom. <laughs> <laughs> that's your voice. Voice. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> You're so worried about your character's you know voice. What's weird about Mr. Bean? Hmm. Did anyone else? Nothing, got, absolutely nothing. <laughs> we got no, so close dolls, to yeah. introducing the characters in the adventure. No, <laughs> just tell me more about Mr. Bean. Well, no, the, the, the Mr. Bean diary, which was a coveted thing at my school library. Oh, I, I had it. Yes. Yeah, it has him writing a bunch of stuff. So you, you have this whole inner monologue of a character that is, like, completely wordless. Mm. And it's... It's it's it, it 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 messes with it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Really, yeah. And he's like, he's he's angry and he's, he's angry. Petty he's, and he's writing to the desperately the, wants a girlfriend. Writing to the water department because the water's coming out of his tap all twisty and like just sort of mm. weird stuff. Mm. That's that really of, strange. Um, I don't yeah. like that. I and sent Tom Walker, friend of the show, a message the other night. My housemate. Is, uh, I think you guys suck each other up. Because <laughs> um, sometimes I just pitch Tom ideas that he never uses in his shows. Mm. And I was like, you, should, you know how you do all your little characters, Tom? You should do one that's like the housemaid of Mr. Bean. Like a guy. Oh, a bee. Yeah, 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 yeah. Just like a very normal person who absolutely has no like, time for Xanax. Like a college roommate who's like, yeah, man, I live with this guy. <laughs> <laughs> you know how to drive a car. You know how to drive a car. What was that 
one that you said to him once that you were like, hey, remember that bit that you used to uh, do? I thought that Tom Come Walker did a bit <laughs> where he um, got his dick out on stage and tried to do puppetry of the penis. But uh, Apologising. No, but the bit was that he had a really sensitive penis. <laughs> so I'd be like, owie, 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 it's the Eiffel Tower. Owie, 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 owie. I mean, you you did what, like university level sketch comedy with him for about four or five years, yeah, yeah, yeah. so it's very likely that he did do this at some point. Well, he denies to say undergraduate humor. <laughs> <laughs> the um, I think one of the things I remember was seeing you guys strap chickens to your fists and box. That wasn't me. That was Tom and someone else. But they did chicken boxing, yes, <laughs> at our comedy night. Demi, tell us more about Mr. Pizza. <laughs> <laughs> no, Mr. Penis. Oh, oh, no. Oh, is there a Mrs. Penis? <laughs> <laughs> Tell us more about Mr. Penis. Mr. Penis. Please. <laughs> Call me cock. <laughs> it's Mr. Pen. Mr. Pe. Fuck. <laughs> Mr. Pizza is. Um, I'm gonna. I'm gonna leave him mysterious for now because he's a mysterious man. All right. So he's a halfling, uh, rogue, light foot halfling, <laughs> level one, two daggers. Got. I think you can. Got a short bow, even sneak attacks, all that mm. kind of stuff. Do you have any questions? Yeah. About how half things operate? No, yeah. Don't ask him. Don't ask. Look it up okay. on the internet. Yeah, no fucking <laughs> idea. All right, Hing, who are you Oh, talking? I have a backpack. You it's a, it's a, Everyone has backpacks. It's a, mine is a Jan sport. Oh. Yeah, Dungeons and Dragons is like school. You get a lunchbox and a backpack. <laughs> uh, my character is called Bing Chrysler, mm. uh, and he is a paladin of the human race. Um, is that a <laughs> very normal way to say it. Uh, he's a he's a paladin. He's a human paladin race. And, uh, first level. Now he's noble and lawful good, which will be a challenge for me to play. Um, he has things like saving throws, skills, and equipment. Yeah, see. <laughs> Great. They've no. changed the layout of the, of the sheets, Dave. So this is the starter sheets. They're so better make them simple. Yeah. Mm. This it's, is. A, I have two flasks of oil. Am I a robot? I have. I have. <laughs> a, do you own a robot? <laughs> oh. oh. I have an attack called a butt leave. Oh. Uh, Let me see. Butt leave. I don't think you have an attack called a butt leave. That says battle axe. You dumb fuck. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> you didn't even go get new glasses, my dude. Oh my god, Tom. Uh, my my character's name is Wet Wetwell Lewet. I was wondering how to pronounce that when you sent me that. If you say it in a French accent, it makes more sense. Um, Do it. Yeah. Mm-hmm. With That's funny. I, I, when, when I must have seen way. that on something mm. and just assumed that an, um, that, that name was so like um, baffling. I assumed Demi had come up with it. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Wet, wet, wet. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm a, I'm a wood elf, uh, and I've got a big bow and a big sword. That's right. I Great. love the woods. Mm-hmm. Great sword, longbow. Mm. Um, I play a, a dwarf uh, whose name is Hamhart Roast Rider, uh, and he used to be in the army. He's a cleric. Oh, he's an ex-soldier. Ex-soldier. Mm. Yep. Uh, he has a. He's got some like god powers and whatnot. He's are got, are yeah. you given that information, or do, is that on our sheets? Somewhere? There is information on your sheets, but yeah, you don't yeah. need to use it. I'm lawful good. I'm medium size. I'm level one. That I'm does a say battle axe. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Not butt leave. Maybe you do have butt leave. Maybe that's something leave? you can put into your character. Michael. I think you get butt leave if it's itchy down there and you don't have to go to work. Yeah. <laughs> that's, that's, it could be just a, like a cool, super cool fart that you do. Four you do, weeks annual leave, two weeks butt leave. <laughs> <laughs> you do get um, a trinket usually, it's sort of something that from your life that you bring in in Where level one it? adventure. Do you have a broken that, blade from your many battles, I think? Oh, yeah. It's but a you trophy can, from a fallen enemy. You can replace it? yours with a butt leaf if you want. You want a butt leaf? Uh, what is my Where would it say? What, uh, oh. Oh, 50, 50 feet of hemp and rope oh, of sentimental I, value. I bet everybody has that. Oh, it'll be somewhere there. Oh, so you got a bag of a thousand ball bearings. That's fun. What? You have a bag. I do! With 1,000 so- ball bearings. Whoa, oh. I'm going to be the jangliest little rogue you've ever seen. <laughs> the Get the <laughs> <laughs> Very nice. Dave, I have something in here called a scroll of pedigree. What's yeah. that? Pedigree. It means it's your it's papers. That sh- yeah, it shows that your coat's <laughs> really shiny. For. It's, you know, if someone wants to enter you in a... I want first prize at the fair. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> What kind of dog would you be? I would be a. I don't. I a poodle. You'd be a poodle. I don't know any. I don't really know enough about dogs. Basset hound. No, oh. he wouldn't be a basset hound. Simon would be a basset hound. What? What? No, he would not. He'd be a fucking Labrador. Oh no, Simon would be a Labrador. Oh, Simon, yeah. what? Yeah. Simon has played a Labrador, Labrador on this podcast. I guess before. so. I don't know, but this is interesting. I'm. I, I, You're not I, a basset hound. I tell you not, that. Not a basset hound. Maybe I'd be I a, nothing but a happy hound. Happy beagle. <laughs> Demi's a chihuahua. But she's oh, you'd be beagle. Yeah. No, you're, no, no, you're specifically the chihuahua that did the Taco Bell ads. Yes. 
mate, if I had to complain this early yeah. on, but uh, please tell me if I am wrong. But I don't think you've given me anything fun and or cool, so I reckon I should get something overpowered. Oh, okay, great. Uh, you can have a gun. Yeah, yeah mate! Yeah. No, I mean, seven serious. If you want, you can... Um... I'll just give me oh, just something fun. What? No, what's... Um... You've got a set of common clothes. Oh, very good. Yeah, oh, you do too. Okay. Yeah, yeah, skin, give... you've got a oh, box. I'm naked. Right. Bone How about I get <laughs> a... I why get don't a you... A why don't we play Little Dungeons & Dragons and you can find something cool in the magical... <laughs> The Monastery of Dragon's Rest. Does that sound fun? Is that Doesn't where our story begins, Dave? No. Dave, why have you given me a bell? Is it because you think I'm like a cat and you need to keep track of me? <laughs> yeah, it's yeah. just for native birds. Yeah. <laughs> where, where, where's their bell around their neck and collar? Um, yeah, yeah, so that people know. I'm so loud. I've got these ball bearings and a fucking bell. I'm meant to be sneaking. The jangliest kid. <laughs> I'm meant to be sneaking. Maybe the bell and the ball bearings are like how you train to be silent because you can be silent mm. that is oh, such a, with that's Bell. Really good it's idea. like helping you build your character. It's like a pickpocket mm. school. Morse pizza. You have to like, <laughs> yeah, you go in and like the final test is you're covered in bells and you have to like... <laughs> yeah, yeah, Actually, yeah. you know what we're both thinking of? The Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles movie. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I'm actually Fuck. thinking of a, a children's novel by Colin Malloy, but that's fine. Oh, okay. Well, in the Teenage... Doesn't matter, doesn't matter. <laughs> you see 36 Chambers? Anyway, fucking cool movie. I don't know. <laughs> 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 like that. Okay. Okay, it's time to play some Dungeons and Dragons. Oh, uh, before I forget, Hing, you might want this. I've had that in my house for years, what is and this? I meant to give it to you. That's from when we went to America. That's is that from Seattle. Yeah. This is my plan to kill the president. <laughs> yeah. They're president. Why do you want to kill Joe Biden? What did he do no, to you? No, the other one. He's old. The real president, Dave. <laughs> <laughs> the one in our lager. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No, our adventure will begin in a tiny, or just outside a tiny That's cloister. A guy, a guy who thinks Trump won the election, but also wants to kill him. <laughs> <laughs> That's a really good type of yeah type of guy. That's a new guy yeah. we just discovered. Yeah. <laughs> yes. So yeah, on the high seas, just outside of the Sword Coast, there is a monastery called Dragon's Rest on an island called Stormwreck Isle. Dragon's Rest is a haven where the world weary of Faerun come to seek peace, reconciliation and enlightenment, perhaps to forget something that they'd sooner not remember, perhaps to find a second chance, perhaps simply... Maybe just on butt leave. <laughs> on, 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 on something as innocent as butt leave. <laughs> a poor nobleman with a broken a butt. A poor nobleman? Yeah, a, a, a it's nobleman. It's a poor nobleman! <laughs> no! They're called minotaurs. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I, mean, I tickled myself. I just enjoy it when Demi riffs on herself. Yeah. And it's just like... She's just wind me a up. Bull, a bull, no bull man, no bull man, no bull, bull, cow, cow, <laughs> bull, <man. laughs> Smoke is coming out of my ears. <laughs> so, all of you, for one reason or another, have decided to make... The boat journey across to Stormwreck Isle, where you plan to stay at the monastery. Doubtless, you all have your reasons. And although you do not know each other yet, you have all shared the same boat, except let's say you who are already there. Cool, yeah, why not? Yeah, all right, cool. You've been at the monastery for a little while. Yeah, but two weeks. Two weeks? Yeah. yeah? Does what do your, you, your what? character have a voice? Yeah. Can we hear it? Yeah. Uh, I'm at the monastery. I'm just having fun. Uh, just uh, getting my, uh, feeling the ropes around here. It's pretty good, pretty nice, actually. Better than I thought it would be. So you would know then that the monastery is run by a woman called Renara, though you haven't met her. Yes. You have risen with the rest of them every morning at 6 a.m. You yes. helped clean out the monastery, provided service where needed, and you have shared with their food, as is the custom of all there. No money changes hand at Dragon's Rest. Ah. The three of you arrive, however, with the high tide. Your journey is under eventful, but the island shimmers off the bow, promising rare wonders. Now, the storm this wreck... boat arrival, it's very uh, White Lotus of you, Dave. I've been watching a lot of White Lotus. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah I, it's a good show. <laughs> <laughs> see, let's see if there's some sexual misadventures on this island. I let's see if glass too, comes no spoilers. into it. Oh, it's, good, it's, it's good, it's good, it's good. Is there a porno bull man in White Lotus? Yeah, there's a big porno bull man. Oh, you I might give it a watch then. <laughs> <laughs> What were you actually trying to say? Poor, Poor nobleman. nobleman. Right. I heard poor nobleman. Yeah. <laughs> Poor no, now you're pronouncing it like it's a surname? It's a rude version of Poor Porno is his first name. Porno is the nickname. It's Poor Nobleman. <laughs> oh, don't go to Bullman's house. I'm trying to suck you off. <laughs> oh, fuck. Mm. So, this is all thank you, Wizards of the Coast, for uh, <laughs> to uh, play your Dungeons and Dragons. Yeah, this is a starter set. It's great for kids. Is this out yet? Yeah, it is. You can get it now. 
You can go, go get it at the Gamesman. Go get, get it. it get it on Amazon. Get it through the do link. You, you could buy it at the Gamesman. Don't they do like video? <coughs> I think you can get it at the Gamesman. I think yeah, you can usually. Are they, are, are they your preferred stockist? I go there when there's a weird game, a weird board game that you can't get somewhere else. Gamesman in Penshurst. Yeah, I go to Penshurst. That's where I got the King's Dilemma, which we've been playing on this. Yeah. So. You want to attack Dave? Just go there when there's a weird game out. <laughs> <laughs> Dave will like this fucking weird game. <laughs> Says Demi as she Shit. cocks her eyes. <laughs> <laughs> so brilliant. The grassy knoll across yeah. from the gamesman. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Stormwreck Isle is, of course, known. It's a bit infamous. Uh, it is this. It is a site that has dragons have flocked to over for hundreds of years. It was owned by a famous, by a, by a not famous but an obscure wealthy family hundreds of years ago until it was destroyed by the red dragon Shurith, who died. Um, and then was buried onto the island, and successively the imp- the psychic imp- implant of Shurith's mind and sort of power has led other dragons to Stormwreck Isle, and they have in turn died. It's a sort of a sad place that is very much part of the history of these noble beasts, and Dragon's Rest is a respite from that quite sad history. So the three of you are on a boat chartered to take you from, from Waterdeep. Uh, Mr. Pizza... Hello. Bing Chrysler. Mm-hmm. Chrysler. Is that saying that right? Is it Chrysler? Mm-hmm. And Wetwell Lewet. Oh, I think, I think I'm already there. Oh, he's already there. No, sorry, no. Um, roast ro- 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 rack ham. <laughs> ham heart. Rack ham, ham, ham heart. Roast rider. Yeah, roast <laughs> ham. Yeah, like. Roast ham, roast rider. Ham heart, roast Roast ham sandwich, okay. <laughs> yeah, uh, a sturdy looking dwarf, an inscrutable looking halfling, and a tall, windswept human man. <laughs> a paladin of the human race. Yeah, yeah. Um, so as you. As the, you crest the surf you see a large open air temple come into view perched on the edge of a cliff high up the ship drops anchor at the mouth of the harbour two sailors row you ashore you have plenty of time to admire the towering statue at the centre of the temple depicting a wizened man surrounded by seven songbirds a long path winds up the side of the cliff to the temple the sailors set you ashore on a rickety dock where the rowboat is neatly tied and they point you on your way your visit to dragon's rest begins um, before they go, um, uh, Bing is going to reach out to the robotman and talk to them. Uh, Did you say robot man? <gasps> robot man. Is it a this robot is why man? you have your flasks of oil. Oh, my God. Um, uh, what's his voice? <laughs> <laughs> okay. We can't both do Mr. Bean. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> um, you... <laughs> I'm trying to talk out the space. I, I want to, I want to talk you, out the bottom you? left hand corner of my mouth. That's the aim of this character. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, 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 there we go. All right. Are you are, are you are you all right? Uh, when are you coming back to get us from here? Is <laughs> <laughs> that a fun voice? Excuse me? <coughs> when, 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 when you're leaving now, when are you going to come back and get us from here? No, no, you paid, you paid us for the journey over. We have fulfilled our bargain. You can charter a vessel back right. if you want, but it's not us. Okay. Uh, Do you always talk like that? <laughs> I'm <laughs> out of the bottom left hand corner of my mouth. Because you yeah. were not talking like that on the boat. <laughs> was it, was Did something that? happen? The sea What's air, going on? The sea air got in my lungs. <laughs> and you see now I talk out the bottom left hand corner of my mouth. But you don't. I'm watching your mouth and it's coming uh, from all over. No, I mean, I'm trying. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm making efforts here to talk out the bottom left hand corner of my mouth. And you mouth. reckon you'll do that for the next three weeks, huh? Yeah, unless something crazy happens. <laughs> <laughs> get kicked in the nuts and then I get to use a normal voice. <laughs> and the other three corners of my mouth. Wow, all right, well, I can... You s- 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 <laughs> have two corners. <laughs> no, this, this is the bottom left-hand corner. And then obviously the bottom... Your mouth is in a rectangle. No, 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 it's not a rectangle, it's a triangle, clearly. This is the bottom right-hand corner. It's a little, it's a little crisper. <laughs> And then the and other. Then, the- <laughs> <laughs> this is top left. And then this is top right. <laughs> <laughs> but we're going with bottom left right now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, something about your accent. I've um, I think I've heard it. Are you from around here? Yeah, my family. Uh, I don't like to talk about it too much, but uh, hundreds of years ago, my family owned this island. The island of Stormwreck. <laughs> but uh, there's a series of um, missed opportunities by my uh, ancestors. 
left just penniless and poor and only able to talk out the bottom left-hand corners of our mouths. Sounds like you do like to talk about it. <laughs> <laughs> right. Well, uh, best of luck with that. Um, yeah, not much we can do. For, anyway, I'm sure they'll, they'll help you out at the monastery. if you. Um, okay. Yeah, I think we've had enough of a conversation. The rest of you, you know where to go. Um, Did you just end a conversation with me by saying... I think we've had enough of a conversation. <laughs> yeah, I think we... I'm not going to talk to him anymore, so... And he's just... He's, he's ignoring you now. And he's like, well, um, that will be... Uh, you said you pay the other half here. That'll be three more gold coins. <laughs> oh, no, you're... You're, you're already there, either. You know? No, 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 no. Oh, Tom's already there. Tom's already there. Oh, Tom's Has, ha, ha, waving what, what, for the what bit of the mouth are you going to talk out of, baby? This is not how we don't do this. I'm going to talk out the top middle. Like this. <laughs> um... Okay. Uh, no, I didn't. What? <laughs> you, 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 no, you, you know, you, the captain told me you had to pay us three gold coins, and oh, that you would. I already paid him. <laughs> you. I, I paid the captain. You paid the captain. Yes, I talked to him. <laughs> you, you gonna do Mr. Bean? <laughs> you don't like it? No, no, no. <laughs> you gonna do Mr. Bean? Yeah. All right, fuck it. I don't have to do Mr. Bean if you don't no, want no, no, me no. to. No, 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 no. Six hours is fine. You'll do Mr. Bean. All right. <laughs> And um, we're all making good choices. <laughs> <laughs> you two I, better have some fucking great voices. I, I, I already paid the captain. All right, make a deception check. Is uh, 20? Yeah. 17. Oh, oh, well, there must be some... Okay, and um, I've got... Yeah, yeah, yeah. You've got your deception is great. Uh, I don't know where it is. Your deception is Oh yeah, my deception is probably five. Twenty-two. Twenty-two. Oh, um, you already paid. Oh, I already. You got a receipt. You got everything. You. Oh, sorry. I'm so sorry. I, I was. I was obviously misinformed. Oh, not at all. Well, um, did you get your change? You know, I didn't. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want him to keep doing his voice, but I would love it if you keep doing yours. No, I, I didn't, but I'll, I'll talk to him next You'll talk time. to him? Mm -hmm. oh, I'm sorry, we tried to run a tight ship. <laughs> no joke. Um, <laughs> but I will, I will I'll get it sorted. I will Thank get you. it sorted. And uh, you, uh, Mr. Roast Rider. Oh yeah, how much do I owe you? Oh, that will Ooh, be. That's a pleasant voice. That's, yeah. That is pleasant. That's a, real, that, a remedy. That's a voice. That, yeah. That's a voice that I believe will still be here in five hours' time. Uh, <laughs> nothing at all, sir. Um, obviously, if it travels free for veterans. Oh, NPCU. And can I much. say again, thank you for your service. Ah, oh, my pleasure. Thanks, lad. And he takes the rowboat and he says, "Well." I enjoy what I imagine will be a calming and uneventful holiday. Holiday, holiday. And his voice is carried over the breeze because he keeps saying it again and again. Holiday, holiday. <laughs> and just a rose away. Leaving you to all turn and see that there is a figure idly throwing skipping stones on yeah. the beach yeah. nearby a tall, lanky wood elf. You're just talking to Damon? You're speaking to him on the boat? He took me over a few weeks ago as well. Very nice guy. Did you notice that his flowers undone the whole time he was talking to us? <laughs> Did anyone else notice okay. that? It, it was right in my face. <laughs> oh, I, I, I do my best not to look at anyone's privates. <laughs> uh, on on Zipto or Zipto, I, I, I tend to just keep myself to myself. Uh, the old eyes at our level situation, okay. Hello there, my name's Bing Chrysler. I talk out the bottom left-hand corner of my mouth. I do keep thinking you're about to say Bing Crosby. <laughs> I do as well. Yeah, yeah. Who's Bing, Bing Chandler? Who's Bing Crosby? He's a, he's he's a singer. He's a crooner. Mm. Yeah. Famously oh. did a Christmas special with um, David Bowie. Oh. Your first oh, yeah. version of this name was Bing Crawford, so I thought you were doing a Bing Crosby thing. Yeah. Oh, I, I don't know. I don't... Yeah, I'm sure. I'm sure I'd recognise him, but I don't know. Um, no, but I changed the name Crawford because I think we've already had a. Crawford yeah, there's in, the Crawford. In, in, yeah, in the, the Pelican. Um, um, yes. Um, I'm going to have to so I've got, I've got a bean in my throat. Excuse me, I've been drinking some seawater out there. Now, uh, what was your name there, Frenchy? My name is uh, Wetwell. Thank you very much. Very nice to meet you. Bing? Wait. Bing. Very nice. What was your name there? Oh, hello. I'm Mr. Pizza. Mr. Pizza, <laughs> very nice to meet you. A shake of the hand? Is, very nice. Is, mm. that a, like is Pizza... Is that a birth name, or is it like a name that you, uh... It's a real quality Dungeons and Dragons. <laughs> <laughs> gave herself. My name's just Mr. Pizza. It, 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 it feels like you're hiding something from us all. Uh, my, uh, my name's Mr. Pizza. You've said that three times now. What the fuck is going on here? All right, let's give the uh, wee guy a, a, a chance. Make me an insight check if you want. 
Insight check. Since you're saying that there check. might be something going on. I have rolled 18 plus insight. What one's insight, Dave? Oh, plus three, 20, 21. 21. You do get the sense that there's quite a lot of stuff that Mr. Pizza is not telling you. I'm just very tired from the boat ride. That's all. I didn't well, see I'm... you doing any rowing. <laughs> <laughs> no, but I was, I was doing, I was sort of uh, having a little jog to keep my sea legs. You were jogging on the <laughs> rowboat? I was. Well, why don't I'm we? Why small. don't we leave it here? Why don't we take ourselves up to the monastery and get acquainted? I'm Ham Hard, by the way. Wait, well. Uh, <laughs> I beg your pardon? Uh, Whitwell's my name. You what? Whitwell. You wet your what? No, my name is Whitwell. Well, wet. What? Very good! <laughs> We've become friends already. Please follow me to the monastery. You're going to love it. You have to do much work and don't quite pay you yet. I, I can't understand uh, anything you're saying. Well, we're going to be good friends. <laughs> All right. <laughs> All right. Well, Pizza, you're full of shit. <laughs> While you're having this conversation, uh, Whitwell and Roast Rider, both of you make perception checks for me. We should give, next time we do a Dungeons and Dragons, we should give all of our the, characters Give them their money names. back. <laughs> <laughs> we should give all of our characters' last names that are tongue twisters, so that Dave has to, you know, yeah. refer to us as... Yeah, that's... Yeah. Uh, Where's another that is my um, character's name? Yeah. <laughs> Me get 18. I got a 12. All right, so you got a 12. Yeah. Um, just as you're about to head... <laughs> yeah, Dad. Yeah. <laughs> just, just as you're about to head back up with the rest of them, you suddenly feel a cold and clammy hand on your ankle. and That's you look clam. Down and it's... <laughs> <laughs> it's actually, a, it actually would be its tongue. But... Yeah, that's true. It's which a is, tongue, Dave. Which Say is its tongue. kind of foot. Yeah. You look up in horror, I look down in horror and you see that there are three figures shambling out of the water's edge, about um, two of them still 30 feet away, but one of them now right up and grabbing onto your foot dressed as sailors where the skin is grey they look drowned they're wearing uniforms that you do not recognize see what is pooling from their slack mouths as they lurch towards you and this one is trying to grab you and pull you into the water Christ so make with me quickly a strength saving check uh, that's a six plus strength is zub 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 <laughs> Uh, eight. I rolled a seven, so you're oh. okay. Um, but combat starts immediately. I've got a pre-rolled initiative, so we start with wet. Well, the wet. You turn around and you Slam. see how close are they? One, one of them one's is on my leg. Oh shit, son! I get my friggin' great <laughs> bow and I just bring that great. Uh, no, I bring my uh, great sword down. I just I want to cut that hand off that's going over. Oh great! Make an attack. Uh, ten plus three. Yeah, hit. that'll hit. I'm a class eight. Yeah, dope, dope. And four plus. One, five, six. Six points of damage. Yep. All right. It falls, staggers back. The hand is released. It falls back into the surf. It starts getting up again as it goes and slashes at you, Roast Rider, and it attacks 13. What's your armor class? Uh, 18. All right. But it misses you, or at least probably actually clangs off your sanctified chain mail that you're wearing yeah. as a sock, cleric. Sock mail. <laughs> <laughs> you, want to, you want to rethink that? Yes, salty. Bitch. <laughs> <laughs> he saved it. As the other two start walking in, and they will be on you in seconds. Bing Chrysler, you're at the foot of the steps leading up the cliff, but you can see it happening. Can I get to one of these? Yeah, you can in, run in. In one turn. Okay, I'm going to run over and attack uh, the one closest to us. Yep. Uh, what's their armor class? Eight. Uh, yeah, that's a hit. And I do. Uh, what's that? Is that a three? Yeah, three plus um, five hit. Damage. Five it's points of damage? Sorry, three plus three is six points of damage. Six points of damage. <laughs> you guys both doing um, barely Being we roll along? I guess. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> On his face. I think I was doing barely. Yeah. <laughs> uh, big prize. Battle axe. So, yeah, you, you draw your battle axe and so you crunch it down on the zombie, which is now bloodied, looking close to death. Mr. Pizza has been watching all of this and has not moved yet. Short bow. Okay. How far away are they? That would be a good nickname for Dave. Chopo. Oh, hey, hey, Chopo. Chopo. Uh, I thought it was going to be Mr. Pizza. <laughs> <laughs> Chopo, how far away are they? Uh, only 20 feet from me. Okay, great. Everybody, that's his last name. His first name is Tor. Fuck. Tor Chopo. Yeah. Tor Chopo. You got a uh, six, but I add five for so that. That's enough. 11. Oh, okay. Now I got uh, one D4 plus three piercing damage. Where's the D4, Dave? I fucking hate this it's game. It's a square. <laughs> it's a triangle. Don't, don't say you hate this game on episode <laughs> one. <laughs> um, so it's a th three and... Uh, Three and three, so six. Six points of damage. All right, it's looking very close to death. Hamheart, it's your turn. Um, I'm going to just whack him with my mace. Mm. Uh, and that's a 18 plus four, 22. 22 will hit. And then he's going to get some seven of bludgeons. 
Ooh, yes. seven points of damage. And get some yeah. seven. All right. It falls. So it's, it's a critical hit. Your mace hits, crunches it right in the center of its skull. It falls back. And for a second, it looks like it is going to die. And then it's, the skull starts to knit itself together again. Ew. And it starts making its way towards you. Make for me very quickly a history check. Uh, that's a 15 plus zero, 15. Okay, so you remember from your training, both on the war battlefields, but also yep. in the cloister, that these zomb- these are zombies, they have a, they're have they reanimated by a spark of life that is persistent, and it takes usually holy damage, or very, very strong blows to knock them okay. to death. No, but now, mm. that's about all the time that you get, because Wet Well is leaping up. Oh, shit. Um, the one these, thing I, these salty fox are zombies! <laughs> What do we think you were singing? Uh, shoot in the head, destroy the head, cut off the neck. Yeah, a very high bludgeoning uh, damage or uh, some sort of holy action. Oh, it's not good. I just have a sword. Uh, <laughs> maybe I smack him with the thick part of my sword. <laughs> put it around. Yeah, yeah, you can yeah, remove the head. Uh, yeah, yeah, remove the head. I take a, I, 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 yeah, I great, I great sword him in the friggin' head. Oh. Eighteen to hit. That'll definitely hit. Uh, third day. Oh, that's on a d6, sorry, pardon me. Oh, one, that's a good one. And two, three, plus one. Okay, if you, so you do four points of damage, but it is finally enough this time. It stays down, you stomp it as you sort of stab, 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 and pummel it with mm. the blunt side of your sword, and the zombie dies. The other two are upon... Wait, you're pummeling it with the blunt side of your sword. Ow. Are you pulling it away with your sword? Pummeling with, the, pummeling with the pommel. And again, this is a great sword, so it's it's oh, huge. A long pommel. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> a long I'm glad to ask for the extra pommel. large pommel on this one, eh, guys? Uh, great right. idea. <laughs> The other zombies fall on you, Wetwell. One of them hits you for d6 plus one damage. Oh, just just I pressed my laptop like I thought it was a touch screen. <laughs> <laughs> Great stuff. The other one, I rolled a critical fail, so something terrible happens to the zombie, oh. uh, which is... Oh, it gets oh, his, his wife cheats on him. Yeah. <laughs> If the zombie's wife cheats on him, yeah. So there's yeah. only there are two zombies left. So yeah. and one start making one out. Say, yeah. One of them's a wife. One of them's, and one a, of them's wife. a husband. And I and kiss she... her. <laughs> Mr. Pizza does. What? No, so I don't want that to happen. No, 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 I don't want to kiss the zombie. Kiss yeah. Zombies kiss each other. I think. Yeah. No, yeah. no, because they're they're together. Aren't they? No, there's three. The one who's wife. One zombie's no, dead. One zombie just died. Zombie. Right. So there's two left, and one of them is cheated on by their wife. Who's the other one? So maybe it's more of an admission of cheating. Or maybe just like snatches a seagull out of the sky and just starts. Yeah, and starts fucking, fucking it. None of this. You know what? It hits itself. Okay. Thank you, everybody, for trying. Well, how much damage did I take, please? Uh, sir? You did. Um... Just call him Sir. <laughs> <laughs> call Dave Sir. I like to, to respect my uh, dungeon master, guys. I don't know how you guys play it, but you know, this is a guy that deserves respect. He puts everything together. Yeah. 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 Fucking sure. cunt. Yeah. <laughs> trying to appreciate him once in a while. Yeah, yeah. So Thank you, Tom. You yeah. know what? You look in the sand and you find a shiny amulet that Ooh. seems to hum with potent magical Yummy. energy. All right, but now answer his question, you little pig. You did too. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Three points of damage. Oh, look at that. The, zombie also, the other zombie wakes up and attacks Demi as well. Hey. No, it doesn't. It's out. All right. Bing. I like, but instead of writing the word amulet, you've drawn a circle in the Christmas tree inside. <laughs> it's a triangle, oh, sorry. which has three corners, not two. Christmas. When someone said earlier that the mouth is a triangle. I don't believe that's the case. Whose turn is it? <laughs> The mouth is a kind of oblong with four distinct Bing corners. Chrysler, it's your turn. I'm going to attack that uh, zombie who looks very sad. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like uh, the zombie that just raising, got some rough news. Raising my battle axe over this zombie. Is the zombie like, down? Prone? Yeah, they're all mud. Yeah, they're muddy Probably. in the surf. No, it's not prone, but it's... it's... I'm going gonna, I'm gonna... to... Oh, you know what one of them is? Because it, it did a critical fail, so it fell over. Yeah, great. I'm going to go for that one and try and... Where will I attack it? I'll try and attack it. Uh, is it front up or back up? It's front down. Front down. Belly. So belly down. Belly down. Belly butt, down. Butt ass up. up. Get uh, its bum. What? Get its bum. I'm gonna um, use your battle axe to bum butt leave it. Yeah. <laughs> 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 that's a special that's attack. Yeah, butt leave. Yeah, butt leave. Yeah, butt leave. Yeah, butt leave. Yeah, leave. Yeah, butt 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 leave. Yeah, I'm going to try and cleave its butt with yeah, my back. We're going to butt cleave it. Make yeah. it with advantage and make it attack. <laughs> uh, uh, plus, yeah, that's 9 plus 5 that is 14. Does it, yeah. And then uh, damage is 8 plus oh. 3. Is, uh, that's 11 damage. 11 damage. All right. You, 11 damage is enough to de- beat its undead fortitude and to kill it outright. The second zombie has died. 
But you see the tenderest meat of the zombies in the anus. <laughs> if you'd like to barbecue the zombie anus, you gotta slow roast it with apple juice. King has oh. discovered his signature move, oh, and it delicious. fucking sucks. <laughs> <laughs> I've been watching a lot of barbecue documentaries. <laughs> 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 yeah, I bet you do. How's your throat going? It's fine. And no, it's not. It's not. <laughs> Mr. Pizza. Where's the uh, Where's the last zombie? What's it doing? It's in the surf. It's re- it's it's Agent. a moment. It's just. <laughs> it's got a sort of big piece of a broken, splintered uh, like uh, lumber from a deck of a ship, and it's just clobbering wet wool again and again and again. What? It's what? It's got a big piece of me. with a club. Oh no! I don't want that. Okay, I, what can you I do about? like throw a lasso, <coughs> lasso with my uh, fifty feet of hemp and rope? Oh, I guess so. Make a dex. <laughs> Can I talk, please? <laughs> yeah. Make yeah, a dexterity sure, attack. Okay. Wait, yeah. So you're gonna go for the zombie? Uh, should I go for its that or its club? Which one will be easier? Oh, it's easier to lasso the zombie than just its club. Well, then I'm th- then I'm gonna do that, David. Okay, great. Make for me. Yeah, David. <laughs> Quickly, you... a dexterity. So plus uh, three. Plus. Where does it say that? Just dex- that's plus five. That's a dexterity save. You're that's so dexterity. you're so crazy and you're screaming okay. actually. <laughs> That's so. That's dexterity. Okay, but just say it calmly. Thank you. <laughs> that is. That was a one. I'm lucky. I get to roll again. <laughs> oh, you are. Eight. <laughs> no, eight plus, plus three is eleven. That's 11. enough. Oh, is it? Yeah. So you grab it with the because they're very slow moving. Yeah. You lasso it and drag it down into the surf. It falls yep. prone as well, giving advantage to anyone that wants to attack it in melee. And Ham Heart, you're up. If I've got two weapon fighting, does that mean I get to do these two? Everyone can do two weapons, but do you have a second weapon to hold? I do. I have hand axe. The hand axe is a throwing up weapon, but you can use it in your hand if you want. Yep. Yep. Sweet. It's in the name. Um. <laughs> <laughs> I just want to have a nice game with my friends. It's been a while since we've done this, and I thought it would be nice if we play a game together. Hand and everyone for except 16. Tom is being very mean to me. Hannah hits for 16. Dave, I love you, Dave. I'm sorry. Mace hits for 21. Yeah. Oh, okay, so that's uh, 7 plus um, 5 damage. No, 7 plus 3 because the second one oh, doesn't get the bonus. The so that's okay. 10, uh, which is a lot of damage. The zombie falls down as you just go fucking ham on it with axe and with mace. And Wet Well, you're right beside him, so you can have advantage too if you want. Have a taste of ham here yeah, with a <laughs> bit of well on top. <laughs> Have a taste of ham <laughs> with a bit of well on top. You make a great thin, don't we? No, you know what? We'll workshop it. It'll yeah. be fine. Yeah. Yeah. Why don't we have a fun thing we say when we slay somebody? We haven't gotten along very well. It's because you keep holding secrets from What about the wet ham? Let's have some wet ham, you piece of shit. I mean, it's not better, but it's not worse. Yes. <laughs> have some wet ham. Did you make the attack? Yeah, yeah. I throw for 10 to Yeah, get. that's enough. Yeah, sick. Uh, friggin' three. Yeah. And, you know, five, eight. five, eight, ten. All right, uh, you hit it as well, but its undead fortitude means that it keeps coming back up. Enough to kill a human, not enough to kill a zombie, which means that it attacks you back and rolls for one. Its wife can't divorce it. <laughs> <laughs> I can't keep about, rolling ones. It's like son. What is it called when you kind of disown, but like oh, um, emancipate? You mean emancipate, yeah. emancipate yeah. with the person that? broke up with the... The seagull. Yeah. It's emancipated yeah, with the seagull. With the seagull, yeah. seagull as well. Papa, I have met a new dad. <laughs> <laughs> he will be my manager now as a zombie rap prodigy. <laughs> <laughs> Which, of course, means mechanically that it has disadvantage and it falls up prone and it hits yeah. itself in the face. Not enough. No. Oh, fuck. <laughs> okay. It dies. What the fuck? Yeah, the zombie, the zombie kills himself because his seagull ex- um, ex-wife. Partner's ex-wife has recently emancipated itself to start a solo rap career. Uh, yes. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And the mm-hmm. zombie's mm-hmm. dick explodes and... <laughs> it, How it, much? Does, why why, you, why do you want it? to know, you fucking sick? I don't want to know how much to imagine it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to imagine it with a force of it. No, it's like, a, it's like a very controlled demolition. It's like you... Oh, okay. <clears throat> like it, yeah, yeah, and then yeah, yeah, the zombie yeah. just falls yeah. down. So there. maybe from from the bottom it falls down. Like when they explode a building, like they implode it. So oh. from the from the <laughs> like the bottom <laughs> of the shaft, yeah, yeah, yeah. it's like... <laughs> yeah, yeah, like... Have that. you ever seen a penis? <laughs> Yeah. Okay. They're pretty yeah. sick, hey? You have. They're cool. They're cool. Yeah, and Describe they're, one. 
They've because you've seen one. They've got sh- shadows. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and, and, and they're so and they're so fast. <laughs> just got me a, a chitter. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So, similar. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, they don't not have shadows. Yeah, though, and so. they're dry. <laughs> <laughs> so a dry, dry they're like good dry, oh, good dry, so dry, but a good dry. It's like a towel, silky dry, <laughs> like a hotel towel. <laughs> like a hotel towel. <laughs> <laughs> you just wrap yourself up in them. <laughs> yeah, you roll around in them. You can do whatever. And I'm always saying around. that. I'm always saying, "Ooh, put your dry dick in my wet pussy." <laughs> It's too wet, I need help. Sop it up. Sop it up, baby. Have you got that sham wow dick? Wick me, wick me. (laughs) (laughs) Well, we're having fun. This is Dungeons & Dragons. If you're just tuning in, we're playing the D&D starter set, which is available now in shops. (laughs) Brought to you by Wizards of the Coast. And And when you play it, it'll be just like this. At this point, you would think that they would know better. The rest of your journey up towards uh, the Monastery of Dragons Rest passes by without um, further attacks by sort of, you know, morbidly depressed zombies. This is the first time you've seen them, by the way, coming out, but you had been warned to stay off this beach. Mm. Who warned us? Wetwell was warned, and Wetwell, you were warned by some of the kobold that Wetwell was warned by a kobold? A kobold, yeah, 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 a couple of kobolds. So you've met a lot of the kobolds. You know the kobold, the small little red draconic creatures? I've killed kobolds in World of Warcraft before, Dave, so I know what they look like. (laughs) (laughs) I know the sound they make when they die. We've killed them in Dungeons and Dragons before. Yeah, Yeah. Yeah. I know how as well. Are these, like, bad Describe a kobold. They've got a shadow, they're quick. (laughs) Very dry. 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 It's like if Scrappy-Doo was a dragon. Yeah, they're like Scrappy-Doo-sized dragons. (laughs) They worship, or at least are sort of drawn to dragons, so of course... Um, over the last 200 years, a lot of kobold have come to Stormwreck Isle. As I said, the gravesite of Shurik, the Red Dragon. How big are they? They are... Scrappy-doo size? Scrappy I size. would say they are... Demi-sized? No, they're smaller, smaller, than smaller than Demi. Smaller than a halfling, smaller than Mr. Pizza. Okay. But right. only a head smaller. You know what, do you want to know the meanest thing that um, Tom Walker ever said to me? What? Oh, that if I no, was I that if I was someone from uh, from Scooby Doo, you'd be Scrappy. Yep. But you would be. Oh, yes. I was thinking that when everyone was like, "What dog would you be?" I'd be like, "Give me a Scrappy Doo." Oh, that's oh, so. You know, you'd so be the man. Let me at him. Oh, let me at him. <laughs> get to be you the man. man. Yes. yes. Get inside around. me. Come and get inside, guys. And it hurts so much when they get into. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. <laughs> Let's go solve the yeah. adventure. And I'm riding the clutch. <laughs> and when they all pile out, I go. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Really good. I like being the van. Thank you so much. That's the answer to what kind of dog would you be? Yeah. <laughs> yeah the van from Scooby Doo. But isn't that so mean, though, to say that something I is Scrappy Doo? I think you are like Scrappy Doo. It's because that's you're so enthusiastic. Annoying. Um. And because you like to box. You're mm. a pugilist. And you have to let... You want people to let you at them. Yeah. Oh, yeah. You're shit. saying let me Fuck at you're them. right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you have all those scrappy snacks. Yeah. That's true, yeah. yes. Scooby snacks? No, so scrappy I snacks. And, you only scrappy present. and your uncle does solve a lot of mysteries. Yeah, he does. And you famously only present in two dimensions. Mm, yeah, well... <laughs> we can't I'm even... So sorry, me and him it... can't even see you. Our vision of each other is unimpeded. I think you guys are forgetting a number of uh, early uh, 2000s um, CGI 3D... Oh. Yeah, oh, and it's not not just that, but the one with Buffy in it when Mr. Bean's there and he yeah. runs the roller. That's not. There's not a Scooby Doo. There's not a Scooby Doo with Buffy and Mr. Scooby-Doo Bean. It's the Scooby Doo movie. No, there's Mr. Bean. Mystery Island. Yeah, Monster Island. The character Mr. Scrappy's Bean. A bad guy, or Rowan Atkinson. <coughs> Rowan Atkinson is in it. So Mr. Bean isn't in it. So you fucking lied he to is, me. He is, aside from that. There is a cameo. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> it's a post scene. It's the first kind of Marvel post scene. Yeah. Yeah. You, you so see Johnny wrong. English and Mr. Bean <laughs> yeah. and Schwama. And, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Blackadder. Yeah. He's yeah. um, yeah. good. He's so, very good. There you go. Okay, I'm sorry, I'm wrong, I'm and a piece of shit. It. The rest of you have managed to make your way back to Dragon's Arrest. I say the rest of you because Mr. Pizza dies on the way. Why? <laughs> Why? I step on my dick and my body unravels like a cardigan. Yeah, uh, you know, yeah, you sort of... <laughs> what? I step on my dick and my body unravels like a cardigan. How, how do cardigans... No, because else would have to because it's like a dick. loose no, 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 string. Because you, you step on your dick I step and then... step on my dick, and then it snags on a stick. It snags on a stick and you yeah. keep walking. And I keep walking step and then on. you tip oh, my like eyes... Oh, like a ball of wool. Yeah, no, like a cardigan that you pull the string on. And it starts like unraveling and then you're wearing a crop top. 
Oh, I, I personally so wear. So I think, personally wear hemmed you think cardigans. The dick so goes don't around. The, 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 oh no, you're using a cardigan still. A cardigan, yeah. But you reckon if you because you reckon if you if you unravelled someone's dick, it would like a cardigan. The pattern Does would be. Does that mean if yeah, someone gave you a, my body? Yeah. Does that mean if someone um, jerked you off too hard, that would unravel your entire body? <laughs> yeah, I think so. If they're being really rough. I guess. I guess we've discovered the mystery of Mr. Pizza. <laughs> <laughs> and then I take out some knitting needles and I put myself back together and and I pull my dick off of the ground. If that's okay with you. No, guys. that's fine. That's allowed. All right. She All right. And now have to roll for that. So the rest of you have managed to make your way to Dragon's Rest. You have a small room that you've been um, staying in. As I said, you've been hanging out with the kobold. Yeah. Probably met some, a couple of them. Like, you know, you've, you've got a few friends here. You've been here for two weeks? Yeah, two weeks. They all speak. You were asking if they're evil. These ones aren't. These ones mm. are devoted to Dragon's Rest. They're devoted to Runaris, although she hasn't been here for a few days. And she's, she's been here while you were there, but you just haven't had a chance mm. to sort of bump into her. Mm. She runs the whole place. Technically, this is a monastery to Bahamut, who is the platinum dragon, the one of the two dragon gods, Bahamut and Tiamat. You are, I think, a paladin of Bahamut. It's also mm. tied up with your family's history. Ru- yeah, Ru- Ru- what was his name? Renara? Renara, yeah. Renara. Renara. Uh, my name is Bing Crosby. Uh, um, <laughs> you, you haven't seen her for two weeks, so you just sit shouting yeah, just this? practicing with... <laughs> no, I do this as well. I, I want to... I also do this... I'm talking to her now. If you love me. Oh, of course. Where she's in the room with us, of course. Very is nice. She, is she here? No. Oh, oh, oh I'll, I'll, be, I'll be her. We're practicing. I can't do the work. <laughs> <laughs> is, this, is, this, is this is Ham Hart is willing to be her? I'll be her. Yeah, I'll, if you want to role play, I'll, if you just like to say, I'll, I yeah. thought she was here. I'm so sorry. No, I'll do it. No, come on. Do it. Uh, well, I had some <laughs> Welcome to my beautiful temple. Well, okay then. Um, <laughs> Hello. I have something I need to tell you about. Um, my Please fam- have a glass of wine. Have have some my, feasts. My my family were sort of excommunicated from here for um. Well, we were involved in some uh, shaded deals, uh, on account of the industry we're in seemed to be polluting the atmosphere and um, sort of d- d- the plumes of dragon smoke that we were uh, used to fire up all of our motor vehicles and whatnot, sort of um. Well, it ruined a lot of people's lives and caused a lot of pollution. And I just want to say I'm very sorry about that. He doesn't like to talk about it. Yeah, I don't like to talk about it very much. It, it sounds like you're talking about it um, with a bunch of strangers. Well, I'm, that's why I'm practicing it. I'm trying to right. succinctly get it out in one sentence. Oi, uh, can I give some notes? Sure. More remorse. Yeah. More remorse. Well, more I'm not. Remorse. The thing, if I can speak plainly to you, I'm not really that sorry. I just feel like I need to say that to her. Well, well, her back, to she'll... allow me back onto the ark. She'll be able to. It doesn't she'll hear matter. That. Whether you are sorry or not, Who's you that? turn around and you see that there's a figure of a woman with a short of shock of grey hair. Oh, I should have mentioned she's standing right behind you. <laughs> well, that, that is deeply humiliating. The fact of the matter is that your family passed this land on to us as custodians, and I have done my part as those that came before me to look after it. Yeah, but um, I was wondering if maybe I could have it back. <laughs> Please. N- no, obviously not. Why would I... Uh, this is obvious. Can't you see? This is a whole operation. Well, I promised that I'm, I, I was going to take over this land and sort of uh, repurpose a lot of the dragons and whatnot away from the polluting ways of my forebears and uh, attempt, if I might be so bold, to uh, turn over a new leaf of sorts. Sorry, what was your name? My name is Bing Chrysler. <laughs> of the Stormwreck Isle Chryslers. I talk you're Chan- out of the you're Chandler Chrysler's son, aren't you? Bottom left hand side of my mouth. I just like Chandler. Did you name him? <laughs> <laughs> that is my father's name, yes. But I don't speak to him very much on account of uh, he. On account of he's been dead for six years for a start. <laughs> he's, well, yeah, he's been dead for six years. So you have other reasons you don't speak to him? Yeah, also he uh, stole a parrot from me in a. <laughs> He stole a parrot from you. Card game of sorts. He told me it was a game of skill, but it was a game of chance. Anyway, you don't need to know about it. I don't like to talk about it very much. It sounds like it sounds like you do like to talk about it. <laughs> well, if you must know, the parrot's name is <laughs> Bing, obviously. I cannot give this monastery to you, for it is not mine to give. This is a place that you will be able to enjoy as much as your friends here. We take no coin. We offer to share our food. Everybody who works with us tills our soil and cooks our food alongside us. If you do that, you are welcome here. I was going to ask, actually. Yes, um, wet well. Yes. uh, We haven't had a chance to... 
How are you? I'm very well. Are you finding the monastery to your liking? It's beautiful. It's, I like everything about it. The walls are beautiful. What is that made Mr. of? Mr. Pizza, uh, this guy's a fucking suck of a <laughs> <laughs> that, that back his attitude. Interesting that you said. It is actually, it's a sort of a deep Alaskan uh, clay. We have... Well, we think that the dragons brought it in with them. There's, there are caves up on the northern hill. I should show you sometime. I'd, I'd love to see the caves. Hey, wet well, she ain't gonna fuck you, all right? Come on, <laughs> leave um, the poor old lady alone. At least I did not lose uh, my parrot to my dead father. He was alive when it took it. Well, it does not change the fact you don't have a parrot and you practice. Oh, and you do sleep. have a parrot? We can get um, you a parrot. Well, well you had something <laughs> you had something you wanted to ask. I was just wondering, I'm sorry. <laughs> Mr. Peach just offered me a parrot of sorts. Where, where is this parrot? So I'm you guys, hang on, hang on. So we're going to split this conversation. So, so Roast Rider and Wetwell are talking to Renara. Mr. Pizza has just said, I can get you a carrot. And then... Parrot. I can get, sorry, sorry, I can get you a parrot. And then Beck for you to follow Mr. Pizza into a corner for a shadowy conversation, all right? Yeah. We're going to go back to that conversation in a second. So for now, you had something you wanted to I ask me. I was just me. wondering, you know, we're doing such good work here, and I think everyone's yes. doing good work. But and I, you're, may I say the charity that you have shown, the, the, how hard you have worked, I knowing like, that there will be no pay, is inspiring. I would, I would not like to, you know, break the rules, if there are rules here. Well, but but it's maybe a monastery, of course, there are of rules. Of course, of course. But maybe if someone was doing more work than other people, mm. uh, maybe they would be yeah. truly blessed, yes. With well, financial compensation. The light of Bahamut would shine as through them. They would feel at one with the God who we all serve here. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Meanwhile, in the corner... <laughs> yeah? Tell me about this parrot you can get me. Okay, and then Mr. Pizza pulls out um, from their little cloak a very wriggly bag and uh, opens it and you hear uh, just a, uh, a, a quiet little... <laughs> You had, a, you had a parrot in a bag yeah. on a ship Yes. for what? three days. I did. What do you want for the parrot? Uh, this is a favour parrot. I'll be, I'll this be, is a favour parrot? I'll be, I'll be calling on you in the future if you want him. <laughs> I took him from a man who wronged me on the road. Oh. His name was Nestor Spiltworthy. <laughs> and now I want you to have him. But I, do, I need your kinship. <laughs> I'm gonna well, kill myself. <laughs> well, well then, Mr. Pizza, I think we, you and I, have come to something of a accord here. Okay. Uh, I will take this parrot of you and owe you a deep favor of gratitude. All right, and then I. That's not what she said. And she then... said she you, she wants a favor, not just a deep. But you understand, you're offering to do something for her in the future. As long as it ain't jerking you off and putting you back together. Oh, I've got a very fragile penis. And then I pull the, and then you just a little, and a beautiful little parrot comes out and sitting on your shoulder. Right. No, you can have Thank a parrot. You. That's fine. What hey. is what? What is the color of the parrot? Mr. Should I roll for that? Mr. parrot. Mm. You, do you want to roll for it? Yeah. Yeah. Ooh. All right. Um, roll the dice. Roll yeah, the dice. dice. I think, can I roll the number you put into the hexamagic? No, I know how to do it. I roll the dice. Uh, Tell me what color the dice is. Uh, <laughs> It's like a greeny blue. It's a green, greeny blue parrot. It's like a teal. It's like a macaw. Mint. It's like a green mint. Macaw. Yeah, it's a mm. macaw. It's a okay. mint macaw. Right. Oh, mint macaw. Mint macaw. Mint macaw. Oh, that sounds like oh. a casino. Yeah. Or a strip club. Can we go to a casino strip club in this case? <laughs> <laughs> Can we go in real life? <laughs> <laughs> oh, uh, before I forget, Wetwell, um, mm. you're, um, you are wanted, actually, in the gardens. The gardener needs to see you. He had something that, um, Tarek had something he wanted to ask you. Tarek, okay, yeah, we, yes, good. Thanks for the chat. I'm glad we've met, and I'm glad that you are understanding your purpose by being here. And you, Mr. Roast Rider, I, I, read, you, I read your letters. You're welcome here as well. All uh, right, thank you very much, Renaro. A um, quick question about the... Uh, Salty ghouls that uh, attacked us on the way in. Is that just a regular thing, or is that been happening more and more? You were attacked by ghouls on the beach. Oh, uh, I, I saw uh, oh, uh, aquatic uh, yeah. zombies. Three if you will. zombies. Very wet, dense. Those poor souls. That means that another ship has has crashed um, by the Compass Rose. There's a, a reef forming to the northwest, and, every, and it seems that ships. Uh, it's like catnip to ships. They keep crashing in, and then every time that they do scores of shipnip. Shipnip. Yeah, it's a business we call it. Shipnip. Mr. Pizza, I don't believe we've met. <laughs> I say things like ship dip. Well, it's, it's wonderful. Oh. I'm, I'm sorry, I'm and feeling... It, and it really derails the conversation <laughs> as well. It's wonderful. Sorry. I'm feeling shy. Why do you have that foul-smelling bag? It's, uh, this is just a personal bag. Let me see that. <laughs> All right, can I give the bag? 
This is just full of bird shit. <laughs> <laughs> That's for personal use. Oh, medicinal guano. Mm. <laughs> All right. I make bowls out of it. <laughs> I, I, well, I'm sure maybe maybe Tarek needs bowls for his herbs and mm. wonderful. Um, well, wonderful to meet so many interesting people. There is one people. more thing. There is a seagull that seems to be cucking a lot of people <laughs> down in the water. We, we saw we... a seagull fuck a zombie's wife. It was I... a very sexual bird on the beach. Someone at the monastery, I think that maybe we should be not... You know, uh, I'm not a man of God, but I do believe that the animals and zombies should not be fornicating. Look, I think I know the seagull that you wish, and let me tell you that because I'm a woman of peace, this is a peaceful place, but that seagull is <laughs> fucked. <laughs> <laughs> and if you find it yeah. and kill it, make sure it dies painfully. That's all I'm going to oh, say. It looks like we have the final boss fight. <laughs> <laughs> What's the name of the seagull? It's Brent. Brent. It's yeah. Brent. He, oh, he says it's Brenton, but it's not. <laughs> it's short, Brent. Short for nothing. We're just. It's Bernara. short for Brent. Yes. Whenever Matt, I ask you a personal question. You seem to have a vendetta against this here seagull. Has it fucked someone? You this go? conversation. <laughs> <laughs> she and she storms off. Now she said that you you might want to go see Tarek. You. You'd have met Tarek. He's yeah. a drinking buddy of yours. Um, and he makes, in fact, the mead that you drink. He's the gardener, but he's also the sort of resident herbalist yeah. of Dragon's Rest. I toddle off. I toddle off to <laughs> smoke a fatty with. All right. right. The rest of you, what do you want to do? Do you can you got the run of the place? You can go investigate. You can go set up your cloister. You can go with. Um, wet well, what do you want to do? It's, uh, pretty good stuff. I'll go with uh, wet well. All wet right. my whistle. <laughs> oh. Yes, and I'll roast my. Um, Yes, we'll, we'll, we'll get there. We'll get there. <laughs> You're gonna keep working on that catchphrase. Yeah, good. The, yeah. wet, the wet hams are out again. The <laughs> oh. I'm gonna go to the games room. You're gonna go to the games room. The games room. <laughs> <laughs> the games room. <laughs> the You're gonna go to the at, oh. at the Mick McCaw. Yeah. The <laughs> McCaw <laughs> now will be in the parlor. So, 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 you, you know what? <laughs> All right. I, they're, they're, yeah, sure. There's a the games right. room. Oh wait, did you name your bird? Uh, you, so far, his name is the Macaw, but if Mr. Peter, if you know the name of this bird, let me know and I'll continue that tradition. I don't know the name. He might tell you. Oh, okay. Ah. Oh, <laughs> do you know what kind of gender this bird is? Is gonna lay eggs Dennis or what? Fluid. Dennis <laughs> fluid. Dennis fluid. Oh, Dennis fluid. Dennis fluid. Dennis fluid. Dennis fluid. Dennis fluid. The meat Macaw. <laughs> I hate myself. <laughs> yeah, right, cool, sure. You have a macaw called Dennis Fluid. <laughs> <laughs> the mint macaw. Uh, he knows Brenton. Yeah, obviously, the only person here who has so far found. Oh, yeah, you found a magical amulet. You're doing fine. So mm, It's glowing in my pocket. <laughs> You guys head to see Tarek. You go to the games room. Mr. Pizza, are you going to join him? Oh, yeah. I'll go with I'll go with Bing. All right. Mr. Pizza and Bing are heading to the games room. So I we'll start Mr. With, with Mr. Pizza and Bing. I hate my voice. Yeah, well, you make these know, beds. Oh, needed, look at these little decision. beds. Debbie's going to get inside it. Oh, <laughs> Debbie doesn't like it. This bed's too hard. This bed's too soft. <laughs> this this bed's fire. too hard. <laughs> Oh, there's a bean under the mattress. Yeah. <laughs> there's a bean on top as well. Uh, Demi loves to rape. So, what? <laughs> rape. I said rape. You did not. No, I did. You did not. No, I did. You did, no, Dave. I did. You I did said not. Dave said rape. Thank you. He did you. say rape. He did. <laughs> okay, we're going to the games room. <laughs> the thing about air hockey is... <laughs> yes. It's... A, it's People so glad we went with this conversation. And <laughs> not not, not the quest. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Mr. Pizza, people think it's a game of power, but actually it's a game of angles. How are you with geometry? I'm quite good at geometry. So I think we'll say that this games room has like an air hockey table, a pool table. It's got some large armchairs that have been donated. It's got a some small metal Chinese slug. restaurant at the back. Um, metal slug? Metal slug. Oh, metal okay. slug. Uh, I'm basically thinking yeah. of Hawks Brewery. That's sort of his... You uh, we could play uh, hockey or we could go visit this Chinese restaurant. <laughs> I don't care for the food much myself. <laughs> but uh, I hear the MSG D can sort of um, yeah, sorry, upset the stomach. When I said a restaurant, I mean it's like it's a fantasy vending machine. There's no one there, no one's talking, there's no accent. You can't make me do an accent. <laughs> okay, 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 okay. But you can, okay. you can have some spring rolls if you want. Is that what my culture banks, Dave? <laughs> spring rolls. <laughs> Well, I, what do you want? What do you want? <laughs> I would like to order two spring rolls and a full roast duck out of this vending machine, please. Okay, how much gold have you got? 
I don't have gold. Yes, you do. You have, about, I think, 20. Okay. I wrote you buy a long, fragrant, spicy noodle. <laughs> There's actually a, yeah. These you know, are... I went to dinner the other night with a young man called Tom Walker. He ordered one big noodle as well. Yes. And the waitress said to him, she said, excuse me. And he said, I would like the one big noodle, please. And she had to go and check in the back. <laughs> We like to get the one big noodle yeah, if they have it. Did you lady and tramp it? Uh, oh, yeah. Yeah, of course. Takes fucking forever to get a big noodle. <laughs> now, where would my gold be on my uh, just character sheet? There's a little bowl, um, things in the bottom left. I have 25 gold pieces. Yeah, so you can spend um, if you want. <laughs> Because you're not a noble, you're not noble born. I think you've only got ten because you're a cleric. You've got ten because you're shit. I got ten days of rations. I'm gonna do beans. Yeah, you're gonna be fine. Uh, hard uh, tack. I'd like to buy this full rose duck that's been in this vending machine for I don't know how long. So you can have a gold coin. And you can get a day's rations divided in whatever food you want. Duck. So, yep, duck. You want duck? No, he wants duck. You want duck. I want the noodle. You want the noodle. Okay. Noodle, a uh, noodle for my pizza friend. <laughs> <laughs> pizza for we my ju- noodle we friend. Ju- <laughs> <laughs> Cheers. <laughs> I went and saw Giuseppe, my pizza friend. <laughs> I'm gonna write that down and put it on a T-shirt. <laughs> <laughs> noodle for my pizza friend. <laughs> oh shit! Is there a break in this one? By the way. Yeah, we know. We're gonna take a break. We're gonna a very short break there as the game room as they order their spicy noodle. We have played some Dungeons and Dragons, thereby fulfilling our contractual obligations. <laughs>